how do we submit our sessions? That's going to be the next question I'm going to definitely get is, um, and, and is it done automatically or manually? Okay. So um, both you can select manually or automatically. And the way you do it is like this. You go to the CCS section here and then under CCS, you'll have a section called session reports. Okay. You'll come to your session reports here. And what you'll do is if you want the automation, you put it on, right? And from an automation point of view, we submit your data at, starting from 10 p.m. every Friday, okay? So instead of you having to wait until the last child is checked out, you can just turn that on, um, go home, and just know that whatever data is in the system will be um, submitted for you, or like we'll do automatically for you, and then we'll email you the report to say it's all been done correctly, or there was some issues, please go in and have a look, okay? So that's how you would do that there. When you want to do it from a manual point of view, it's a very similar thing, um, but instead of just turning on the automation, what you would do is, how do I get rid of that? Okay, so this should automatically, so because there's no CCS set up, it might be a little bit different than mine, but for yours, it should automatically, um, so this week's the 21st, right? So what happens is you'll have the, the submission date automatically there, okay? And what happens is throughout the week, owners constantly looking between Monday and Friday at all your attendances. And this is why there's not many issues, right? Because um, when you log in, you can log onto this screen at any day, right? You'll be able to see every single child and anyone that hasn't been signed in, signed out, any child that has no fee or any sort of thing that the system wants to bring to your attention. The most important thing to note is that it's okay to submit with errors, right? Um, it just depends on that type of error on how the submission will go through. Uh, because obviously you might have special circumstances where you don't charge the family, therefore no fees applied. And obviously the system wants to tell you, hey, there's no fee to this session, right? So obviously you're aware of that. You can just skip it, right? But you can come in here and see, um, because it's Monday to Friday, if you log in on a Thursday, you just want to make sure that all of these um, days have nothing prior to Thursday or that they're all taken care of. So you can easily keep track of all your attendances throughout the whole week. And then on Friday, what's going to happen is you'll just have those few children left over that haven't signed out. So making sure that they're all signed out and that they're all done. Now, if you're manually submitting, you've gone through, checked all the errors, it's all good, system's ready, right? Um, if you get to zero errors, you get a green confirmation message as we got before saying something like this, your attendance is ready to submit, okay? Um, and then um, if you have errors, obviously you'll see them like that, right? And that's how many warnings you have. Now, you can edit all your, all your warnings from here provide sign-in time, sign-out times, mark children as absent and whatnot. Um, and then you can update it. So let's say, for example, there's no sign-in or sign-out time. The child is meant to be absent. I mark them as absent. My warning goes down. It's as simple as that. Um, and then you'll come here to submit them. So you just select all your children. Uh, sorry, 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 select the date that you're submitting for this week. Select all children and click the green submit button. That's it. It's as simple as that. You just have to wait till that last child you know, sort of signed out.